Hello! Welcome to my first Talk To Me Tuesday. Uh, this is a series I'm going to be doing on my YouTube as well as my Facebook like page. And um, I'm super excited because it'll be a way for us to get to know each other better and a way where I can directly answer your questions via video. Um, so it's going to be something I'm, I'm going to be doing every week where you guys can ask me a question and I can answer it for you guys. So I'm excited to be getting to know you guys better um, and connecting one-on-one. -on -one. Well, semi-one-on-one. -on -one. But anyway, so you can ask me anything uh, along the lines of coaching, fitness, nutrition, and, you know, uh, paleo, like I've eaten vegan, I've eaten paleo, I've eaten junk, like I've eaten, a, I've eaten pretty much every diet you can think of. Um, so you guys are free to ask me anything, and if it's something that I can help you with, I'm more than happy to do so. So I'm excited. Anyway, let's get started. Um, my friend Farah, Farah. Oh, it's late and I just had pre-workout and I'm not, I already remade this video like four times. So, Farah, she asked me what I do to stay motivated, um, to keep going. And I thought that was a really great question considering we are in the beginning of the year and a lot of people have set New Year's resolutions and probably, you know, a lot of people, sorry to say, but a lot of people end up already giving up on their New Year's resolutions at this point in the game. And um, so I figured I could give you guys some tips and help you um, let you know what I do to stay motivated and how I've stayed motivated for over two years now since I've been doing this. So um, first of all, I, I know that it's difficult to start something new. I know that it's hard to you know, because you feel like you have to change everything and it's just going to be this huge task and it's just going to like bog down your life and you can't have fun anymore. You can't drink. You can't hang out with your friends and your whole life is ruined just because you want to get healthy. And it's, you know, it doesn't have to be that way. And it's not, it doesn't need to be so dramatic. Um, but I know that we have all these thoughts that go through our minds that, you know, it's going to ruin our life. Um, so it's, it doesn't have to be that way. Anyway, so something I think about um, to stay motivated is the results. Um, I remember when I very first started getting healthy, it was really hard. Um, I didn't have the support. I didn't have a coach, somebody like me to support people through their fitness. I didn't have anything like, like that. I would run outside and I was terrified because stupid neighborhood dogs, people don't put them on a leash, they would chase me down the street and it was so scary. Um, and I was super embarrassed to go to the gym because I was overweight and didn't know how to use my body. I was very clumsy. I never played sports or worked out. So I was like really awkward and I ended up going to the gym. I remember running on the treadmill. I couldn't even do five minutes and the trainer made fun of me and I was really, really, really embarrassed. I mean, I was like, I just turned 18. I was still super awkward. I was always a tomboy, but I wanted to be able to like fit in my clothes and I wanted to feel good. I wanted to feel sexy. I wanted to feel confident in like presenting myself as an adult in the world. You know, I wanted to feel confident in whatever job I was going to do or career or school. Like if I ever got back into school at the time, I was, um, I was still a high school dropout at 18. Um, so I just wanted to have the confidence to like flow through life, you know? So that was what motivated me in the beginning. Like I put on, cause I always wear pajama pants and baggy shirts and stuff. I put on a pair of like tight pants and, um, it was really not a pleasant sight. Um, just for myself. I mean, everybody feels however they feel about bodies or whatever, but I was not happy with how I was looking in those pants. And how I felt, I wasn't comfortable. I couldn't sit. It was like tight and like awkward and I didn't feel sexy. I didn't feel confident. So I, that was like a defining moment for me. So number one, you definitely need a defining moment. You need a big enough reason why you need to change. Like my entire family was unhealthy and I didn't want to be like them. I wanted to be different. So I wanted to change. I wanted that really, really badly. 
and I wanted to feel confident really, really badly. And, and I lived in South Florida and never like strutted around in a bikini. Like that sucks. Like I lived, I grew up on the beach and I never felt confident enough to strut around in a bikini. I wanted to do that. I lived in freaking Florida, you know? So you need to have a big enough reason why you want to change. Um, so for me, it was that defining moment. Um, and I did it alone for a really long time. And, and eventually I burnt out. Like after a couple years, I got burnt out. And that's when I found Beachbody. Um, well, I was burnt out for a couple years. <laughs> and then I was kind of like yo-yoing because I, I still wanted to be to feel good. But I also was like tired of you know, feeling tired and unhealthy. I wasn't really eating right. And, um, so that's when I found Beachbody and I started doing home workout programs and learning how to eat better. And, um, so what motivated me then was, um, the same things. I wanted to feel good. I wanted to be confident and I wasn't comfortable in front of my husband. And that was something that was really important for me at the time. I wasn't comfortable in front of my husband. So, um, you know, that really drove me. And then at that point, after being a part of the community, like being around other people who were also, you know, striving for greatness and like working on their fitness and being a part of accountability group, um, that helped me stay motivated and helped me want to show up for other people and, and show people what's possible. It was something that was always um, a driving force for me in a lot of different areas in my life was wanting to, um, be the best I can be and show people what's possible because, you know, when you end up leaving and, and changing your ways from what you grew up in, you end up feeling very inspired to show people that they can too because you, you start to see people around you who aren't changing and you want to help them change and help them grow. So that was always a motivation for me as well. So I really connect with... Um, I really connect with like my why and why I'm here as a human and why I want to um, to present myself to myself like as the best version of myself and then show other people it's possible. Really, that com all what I'm saying comes down to that. Like I want to be the best version of myself and show people it's possible. Um, so that is a huge driving force for me. Um, so basically, you just need a big enough why. You need a big enough reason that's going to get you up out of bed and pressing play on your workout um, and sweating it out and like doing something good for yourself. And once you start doing that, once you um, have, because like when you have that like drive, the, um, the pain of going through that change is, is not as painful when the reward of of having the achievement and having the results that you're getting and knowing that you're you're heading towards the goal that you have um, that's a lot stronger than the pain of the change you know what I mean and like I was saying a lot of people think you have to like change your entire life you don't like you can just change one little thing at a time like just start working out or just add more vegetables to your diet um, stuff like that so um, how do I stay motivated to keep moving forward? Basically, that's it. Um, you need a strong enough reason why. And I think being a part of accountability um, and having people doing it with you really helps. Um, once you start getting the results and feeling good and you're, you, you kind of like become addicted to it uh, in a positive way, of course. But um, that really helps you to keep going. And... Um, Another thing is fear for me, like, and this applies to all the areas like fitness and just lifestyle and life in general. I don't want to wake up one day when I'm like 50 or even 30 or 40. Like, I don't want to wake up one day like, man, where did my life go? Uh, you know, like, we're here to enjoy this time that we have. Like, it's it doesn't have to be this like stressful, uncomfortable, miserable experience. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be enjoyable. And like, if I'm not, um, if I'm not physically, mentally, um, and spiritually like reaching my full potential, or at least like going for that and like striving for that, to me it feels like pointless. Like I'm not happy. Um, I don't have to have all the things that I want 
But as long as I'm striving towards that, that is what brings me the happiness. That is what brings me the fulfillment um, is, is the striving, is the journey. And the journey is supposed to be enjoyed. And I think a lot of times we people think that, you know, I'll be happy when I reach this goal. Like, and, and, but people don't do anything to change it. And they just hope to wake up one day to have that miracle fall in their lap. It doesn't work that way. You have to like take the steps every single day to move towards that. So I really think about that every single day. What do I want to look back on when I'm, when I'm old and gray and wrinkled? Like, do I want to be like, man, I really wish that I went rock climbing. I really wish that I, you know, swam in the ocean with sharks or whales or whatever. Or, you know, I really wish I, I took up the opportunity to quit my job. Or I really wish that, you know, I was confident and wore that bikini when I could. Or I really w wish I would have traveled. I really wish this, this, and then that, whatever. Like, I don't want to, I don't want that at all. Sorry. Um, I don't want that experience at all. And that fear, I like place that fear in myself. And that is enough, that is enough pain for me to take the risks now and, and get uncomfortable and do the things that make me feel uncomfortable um, because I know it's going to give me the, you know, my future self eventually the things that I want and I'll have the fitness that I want and I'll, and I have gotten a lot of results and um, have improved my health um, immensely. But I still have bigger goals and I just keep striving because that's the fun part. It's fun to learn new things. It's fun to have new experiences and to like challenge yourself mentally and physically. So that's basically what keeps me motivated to keep going every day. Like I do not wake up every day in a happy ass mood. Like I have to get myself in that state. And that's something I learned with Tony Robbins. And I'm going to make this quick because this video is getting kind of long. But something I learned with Tony Robbins is that you have to change your state. Your emotions are directly um, linked to your motion. So, you know, that's why working out makes you happy. It changes your state. It changes your emotions. That's why, you know, you always see me in videos like dancing around like a crazy person because if I'm ever feeling like, you know, bummed or sad, like, you know, shit happens. I don't have perfect days every day. Um, I'm human and I... I have struggled with depression and anxiety my whole life and how I overcome that is through making good choices for myself doing exercise because that changes my state gets me out of my head and um you know dancing around and listening to music and having fun that really helps and that helps me get in a better mood so you can't expect to wake up like with the birds chirping and like freaking cinderella or whatever um, you know, that's not reality. You have to create that for yourself. That's something you do. It's not something that's just going to happen. So, um, yeah, blast music, get excited, get excited about your life. All right. I'm going to go work out cause I'm getting weird on you guys. And I look forward to talking to you next Tuesday and seeing what questions you have for me next. Okay. Bye.